We are now going to demonstrate some of the capabilities of the QPDF utility for manipulating PDF files. First, let's combine two files into one longer file. So we do that with QPDF, empty, pages, 1.pdf, 2.pdf, where I already have both those files, and I'll put the output into 1.2pdf. Now suppose I want to split off a couple of pages from one of the files into a separate file. Well, I can do that with QPDF, empty, pages, 1.pdf, and then I'll get pages 1 to 2 into new PDF. So the new one only contains the first two pages. Suppose I want to rotate the first page by 90 degrees and leave the other pages the same. Then I do QPDF rotate equals plus 90 colon 1 to indicate it's just page 1. 1 dot PDF and the output will go into 1R.PDF. If I want to rotate all the pages, I could do QPDF rotate equals plus 90 colon 1 to Z, where Z means all pages, 1.PDF, and the output will go to 1R all.PDF. So, to see what that would look like, we could do events 1r.pdf. You'll see the first page is rotated and the others aren't. And uh, I'll let you play around with the one where they're all rotated. And then finally, let's encrypt a file with a password that we give. So, I'll do qpdf encrypt. I'll say mypw and then mypw for the password itself. I'll specify 128 bit encryption. And then public.pdf, that's the original name, and it'll be encrypted to a file named private PDF. And that worked just fine. And then when I try to open the file, if I just do events private.pdf, it's asking me for the password. I type my PW and I can read it, so that's just fine. And then if I want to decrypt it and make a copy which is longer en encrypted, I can do QPDF decrypt password equals my PW private that PDF and then the output will be file D PDF. And I can look at that without having to supply a password. So that's just a demonstration of some of the simple uses of the QPDF utility.